Hello everyone, Tim here again, timscomputerfix.net, and in this video I'm going to show you a little screencast talking about a program that's been around since 2003. It's used to benchmark your computer, and it's used to stress test it and testability. It's called OCCT, and as you can see here, this is their uh, website, and on their main page you can uh, view their latest available uh, release but it's a very nifty program it stress tests and benchmarks your um, your processor your video card and your power supply now as I've mentioned these guys have been around since 2003 this program has and they're based out of France if you want to learn more about the creators of OCCT you can just head over to the about us tab on their website so we're going to test a little bit on this computer that I had this installed on. But first we'll talk a little bit about the product itself. It has four built-in uh, test pro programs built into one to test your CPU, GPU, and your power supply. So we'll take a look at that here in just a second. There's also, this is a free program. And you can uh, head over to their site and donate if you like their product. They also have a pro version over here. See, it lists all of the uh, programs that are used. Uh, Linpack, GPU 3D, and here's the power supply test here that includes in the free edition. All three are included. And in the pro edition, you get the extra uh, added features of custom testing using your own applications. And then you can run a, you can also run a uh, immediate run, run a batch file after the uh, an error was found to have it do what you want to there um, and a couple of more things the pro version does is it allows you to output to CSV so you can have a nice printout or layout of whatever computer you're testing and then you can also change the and customize the output path of the program there's also some really good support for OCCT if you head over to the support tab here you can see a, a whole page of questions and solutions to many of the questions that are commonly asked from OCCT and you can also contact them yourself if you have any questions or have any issues with the product and if you really want to know you know if your computer is is uh, at its peak performance or is uh, is falling over during like heavy loads this is the program to do this is the program to run so let's go ahead now let's go ahead and just open up the program that we'll open up OCCT here. Okay, it's asking you, it's another way here that you can donate if you would like to donate. Uh, right here on the left, you also have some basic information about the computer that the program is running on. Uh, we got the computer name, got the Intel Core i7 here, uh, and it gives you some information about the processor and it shows your motherboard. Uh, shows if you have an overclock on the machine which is good if you get a computer into your shop and you're, you want to see for sure if it's got an overclock on it or not uh, this one has a slight overclock on it shows your bus speeds just some basic uh, computer information there as far as your CPU goes or your main computer goes then you have your GPU information here it shows your GPU which GPU you're running and what speeds they're running at currently and if they're overclocked or not okay over here to the right this gives you pretty much uh, in graphs showing uh, how much uh, processor usage we're using at the moment. Over here is your frequency or your megahertz or your speed that both your CPU and GPU are running at. Down here in the middle is uh, your temperatures for all the cores on your processor. And then down here are all the voltages uh, there on your processor. So as we push this, as we benchmark this or push this processor, all of these items should start to rocket up. Your CPU should go almost all the way up to 100% usage, and the temperature should also rise accordingly. This is a good way to check to see if you're having any thermal problems with uh, any given computer that you run this on. It's also a good thing that it's used for. Stability issues, uh, it's really good for checking for that too, as I mentioned. Okay, OCCT has a really great log monitoring ability. Basically, as this computer is getting benchmarked or tested, it shows you in intervals, uh, it takes a snapshot of all of the vitals of the computer and it lays them out for you. And here are some of those vitals here that it tests for and watches. 
and you can enable or disable these as needed. So some of these items that you can show in real time, things like CPU vCore. You could also monitor some of your fan speeds that you have going on and a wide variety of other of other items that you can add to what this program monitors. Here's different types. Here's a core temp. There's all kinds of built-in uh, programs here that it uses to do so. You got uh, Everest, uh, core temp. You may recognize some of these. These are just some of the programs here that are built in to help monitor your computer as it's being stressed. Up here on the CPU tab, you can choose the type of test you want to run, an infinite or an automatic. Uh, infinite just means it just runs continuously until you turn it off. I would be very careful with that as if you start reaching temperatures that are higher than than what the processor or video card is rated for, you could you could possibly do damage. Or you could do the automatic, and the automatic it just runs for a certain period of time and then stops. You have a 32-bit or 64-bit test version you can do, and the test mode. You can, there's several different modes you can try: small data set or medium data set. You can also set the number of uh, threads. We have four cores, eight threads on this processor, so you can also benchmark certain threads if you like. And as this tells you how much memory that the test will use. Here's the Linpack test for CPU, all the settings for that. And then here's your GPU settings. Same thing, infinite or automatic. It shows you your video card here, which one you want to test. It shows the resolution you want to test at. Whether you do want to do full screen or do error checking, and a few other little settings there you can set on that. And then your power supply here, uh, same thing, infinite or automatic. This will stress your power supply in a certain manner using your GPU. I myself don't really use the power supply stress test here unless I feel there's a need to or I feel there might be an issue with the power supply itself. Okay, notice back over here how we're just testing the we want to keep an eye out over here on the temperatures of the processor we don't want them getting above the recommended high temp while being stress tested so you want to keep your eye over here to watch these cores and this is just for the processor test which we're going to do right now so we'll come back over here and then you'll notice right here we have the on off button, which these are the ones that you want to take care of, of course, on is going to start the stress testing. And then if at any time you feel like you need to stop the stress testing due to the temperatures or heat or when you're done using it, you just hit the off button. There. Just as simple as that. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the on button here. And now, as you can see here, my processor is at 100 percent and then you can see over here these temperatures pushing up into the mid about the mid 70s so it's at 100 percent we're looking at mid to upper 70s and you can see how everything's being being pushed here are your voltages down here so you can monitor your voltages and see how those are doing. You want to let that run for whatever period of time that you feel that the processor would be stable and you don't need to test it any longer. But uh, I'm pretty stable here. Things are running just fine. So we'll just go ahead over here and we'll turn it off. And as you shut it off, you will get a nice printout of PNG files showing all of the results. OCCT just takes a snapshot out of the time that you ran the test, 2 minutes and 32 seconds. And you can see various uh, printouts of the stages during those 2 minutes and 31 seconds of stress testing that I did. Pretty nice feature there. So let's try the you can try the Linpack test here if you want to, and that'll you know use up almost all of your memory. If you want to try that, uh, that'll stress test that. And if you want to go to your GPU, let's test that real quick. This is runs very similar to like for, Furmark, so let's just go ahead and run that. And 
I'll move this over here. Uh, like I say, very similar to the program Fermark, but this just puts uh, a heavy stress on your video card. And you can uh, see your time that's been lapsed, and you can also see your frames per second. And everything is being monitored there in the background also. And this is a, just a good way to get a general idea of, of if your video card is stable or not. And again, don't forget to head over to ocbase.com. This is where you can find OCCT and give them guys a little donation if you think they deserve it. I think they do. Great. Until next time, everyone. See you soon.